The Pangolin's Tale I do not notice at first that Mama is upright on her stubby hind legs watching me. The blue dark of the night scrub is all feathery as dawn nears and I am on my back rubbing against the cool mud wet of waterside. I breathe in dried grass and enjoy the squelch in between my overlapping scales. The pointy peep of a coot distracts me and I stop what I'm doing and take in Mama beside me. Her nose is twitching, her sense is on high alert. I grow fearful. Always remember to keep a lookout for predators, my love. I think of the time sour stench came sprinting towards us from the bush. Mama balled up quick fast, tucking me into her soft belly with her tail, exposing only her sharp, armour-like scales. In a flash, the beast was scratching and pawing at us, and I could smell the hot, stinky hunger on its breath. But Mama, I say, you saved me from the mightiest of them that time. The big cat's hurty teeth and claws could not break through your scales. I see the plates on her back lift and fall, and I know that she is taking a long breath. My girl, I won't always be around to protect you. Her eyes squidge. Your own scales can already keep you safe. The day will come when you're too big to ride on my back and you won't need me any more. No, I say. I roll on my side towards her, knocking into a bristly something that gives off the silt scent of porcupine. Never! Others of our kind go about alone. I cannot imagine ever being without my mamma. She nudges me with the point of her face but I see the same sadness in her eyes that is steeping my own. Mama lowers her long tail for me. The whistle of locusts that team the night is quietening. Any moment now, the parakeets, babblers and macaques will crack open the orange light of day and all manner of daytime predators will begin to emerge. I clamber on board and scramble up her back, unclenching my front claws to get a hold of her rigid scales. I steady myself. Mama's head lowers. Her squat legs make hard work of the bamboo stalks and vine trails that rib the earth on the short distance to our burrow. I see how small and slow I will be even when I am grown. Mama noses her way to the far end of our crumbled mud tunnel under the shade of the great banyan tree. I curl up in the cushion of her tummy. She pulls me closer still. I shut my eyes and breathe in the lonely smell of her. I don't want to grow up. I wake up with a start. My breath jabs at my chest. My eyes are peppery. The burrow is choked with smoke. I cannot see Mama. I stumble around, crunching beetles and rootlings underfoot. Something swishes beside me. The feel of toughened plates against me. Mama's tail! I hurl my way up it, haul my way up it. Mama stumbles through the burrow, clumps of earth rain down on us. The burst of daylight at the entrance grows closer. The light shifts, a shadow is cast. We head straight for it. I screech at the touch of a padded paw, something large upright. I tumble to the ground. A tail swoops me up, the clatter and bounce of balling up, and I am flush against Mama's fleshy underside. I hear a thwack. Mama flinches. I feel the jangle of scales. I hear her moan. She clenches, squashed tight around me. Mama, say something. We are being scooped up into the bright light shine, but I know of no jaw or beak big enough to clasp Mama. We tumble forwards. I am squished and squeezed until I cannot breathe. Mama, I'm too scared to speak. Hot air swishes around us. We are carried, swinging and jolting. We are not so high as the birds. I can I can smell the ant and termite nests within reach. I hear the creature's unfamiliar jabber batting amongst its kind. It hunts in packs but I cannot fathom how it carries us. It is like no other animal I know. Mama, you never warned of a predator scarier than the big cat. The pack stops, 
and so does my breath. We are lifted once again and then set down onto an uneven surface. My nostrils twitch. The scent of of familiar creatures overwhelms me. We are surrounded by our own kind, I am sure of it, though not one of us makes a sound. Mama, the stench of fear is so strong I feel sick. A thunderclap sucks away the daylight. The air has gone stale. Heat begins to stifle me. There is a continuous growl, a sound so unfamiliar I cannot think to what creature it belongs. And we are moving again. But this time we are not carried at all and our bodies are still. I sense we are no longer on muddy terrain, nor even in our native grassland. My nostrils twitch. The predator is no longer near but its odour lingers like burn after fire. Mama, say something. I cannot tell how long it has been, but my mouth is frothy, my breath sticky yucky, and I hurt from the tightness of Mama's hold. The whine of the growl persists, but something wonderful is happening. I feel Mama's body push out and suck in against my back. Mama, I say. Oh, my mama. I'm here. I'm here, my love. I'm here. I squidge my eyes. Are you okay, my girl? I need to stretch, mama. I'm hurting. Please release me. You must be strong, my girl. I cannot move. I am caught in a vine. But it won't be long, I'm sure of it. You'll be brave, won't you? For Mama, I am hurty and hot and so very thirsty. Okay, I say, wishing for the first time in my, in my life that our kind were not so gentle and had teeth like other animals and claws that were good for more than digging up ant mounds. Mama, I say, after the longest time, Can such a predator harm us? Of course not, my love. Our scales will keep us safe. The constant growl softens to a purr and I can just make out the whimpers of others of our kind. I am wrenched from the deep pit of sleep by a jolt. I feel dizzy and sick from heat and thirst and hunger. But the growl has ceased and we are no longer in motion. I hear paws scrunching over rubble, the stench of the upright creature's nears. Mama, I whisper, I'm here, my love. Something hollow snaps and cracks open. I sense fresh air pouring in, but I dare not breathe. I hear lapping and splashes, fat as a monsoon rain. I hear Mama's nostrils sniffing, her body squinches. A foul stink overpowers me. Liquid stuck sliding down Mama's scales finds the in-betweens and reaches me in spiky stings. I am losing my senses. I cannot tell what is happening. I am sinking into marsh swamp. I see fuzzy shapes moving. I hear sneak snot, soft paws padding. I do not see them, but I know they are there. I sniff them out. Dogs! Mama, help me. A gash of light tears me from the black. My head is swimmy and I am shaky sick. I feel cold air against my back. I am hooked in the padded paw of an upright creature. My small mouth is forced open. My long tuber tongue whips out and something hard is pushed inside. A gritty slurp pours down my throat. My tummy cramps and screams. Mama, where are you? I am set down on thin ridges hard as bone. Light shine and fever blind me. The musk of creatures overpowers me. The stench of fear, the blood of fresh kill. I can hear the screech of death. I sick up gritty slurp. Mama's cheek is next to mine. I am not dreaming. I breathe in sweet loam. 
I sink into the familiar groove of her belly and let my eyes squeeze shut. I am safe. When, my, when I open my eyes into the too bright shine, Mama is gone. She warned me the day would come when she would not be here to protect me. Mama was right about that, but she was wrong about my armour plates. I sniff the scent of our, of our kind. I hear their shrieks and the sound of scales piling up into a mound. I must be brave. Above me, hanging on bone ridge, a bat clicks its wings. I curl up in a ball and wait. <laughs>